Energy is all around us, in different forms. Unlike matter, energy doesn't have mass or take up space. We can only see energy through matter in motion or the resulting changes to matter that energy causes. But how is energy classified? Let's find out together in this episode all about the different forms of energy. Many forms of energy exist, but they all fall into two basic categories, potential energy and kinetic energy. As we take a look at several different forms of energy, you may want to learn more about each type. If so, you can click on the episode that pops up here from time to time. Now, potential energy is stored energy and the energy of position. There are several different forms of potential energy. Chemical energy is stored energy in the bonds between atoms. When those bonds are broken, energy is released. This is called a chemical reaction. Chemical energy is stored in this salad I'm having for lunch. The plant friends use radiant energy from the sun and convert and store that energy in the chemical bonds within those sugars created through photosynthesis. When sugar stored in the biomass of that plant is eaten by an animal or me, and digested, those chemical bonds are broken by the cellular respiration reaction. This converts chemical energy into thermal or mechanical energy. Chemical energy is also in the batteries before we turn on the flashlight they power, and in firewood before the campfire and s'mores. Nuclear energy is the energy stored in the nucleus of an atom, the energy that holds the nucleus together. Large amounts of energy can either be released in nuclear fusion, fusing two nuclei into one nucleus, uncomfortable, or nuclear fission, breaking one nucleus into two nuclei, also kind of rude. The potential mechanical energy is energy stored in an object's internal condition by tension or compression. These popping toys are my favorite example of elastic potential energy. It can be a little stressful waiting for it to pop up. Oh. Ah. Ow. Whoa. Huh? Got it. Also, give this mini catapult a try. Oh. Gravitational energy is a potential mechanical energy stored in an object's height. Hydropower is a good example of gravitational energy. Here at this hydroelectric dam, water is forced down by gravity and travels through a turbine connected to a generator, producing electricity. This pumpkin also has a good amount of gravitational potential energy hanging out up here on top of this hill. So potential energy is stored energy and energy of position. We've got that covered. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Let's take a look at the motion of waves, atoms, particles, substances, and pumpkins. If you're still here liking this video, let us know. And hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Mechanical energy is the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy of an object. Mechanical energy in its working state is the energy of motion. A butterfly in flight an ocean wave, and a ferris wheel are all examples of kinetic mechanical energy. Radiant, or electromagnetic energy, is the only type of energy that doesn't need matter to be transmitted. This energy travels in transverse waves and includes visible light, x-rays, gamma rays, and radio waves. All light energy is a type of radiant energy. Radiant energy from the sun is what makes life possible on Earth. It's the beginning of every food web. It allows us to see during the day and at night and keeps our planet nice and warm. Thermal energy or heat is the energy that comes from the movement of atoms and molecules in a substance. The more movement or vibration the particles have, the greater the thermal energy. Heat increases when these particles move faster. Thermal energy is measured as temperature. Matter with low thermal energy is usually found as a solid. This is because there is not enough vibration or thermal energy to allow the atoms to move much or flow, like this popsicle. If the thermal energy increases, it allows the atoms to vibrate more, allowing them to move around more easily. The solid can melt into a liquid. See it dripping down the side here? 
Let's find a beaker, put this inside to catch all of the melting liquid. If even more thermal energy is added, like our hot plate, the atoms vibrate so much that they break away and escape as a gas. Can you see the gas escaping up here at the top? Sound is the movement of energy through matter in longitudinal waves. Sound is produced when a force causes an object or substance to move or vibrate. You can actually feel this vibration if you gently rest your hand over your throat when you speak. Hello. 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 The sound energy is transferred through the substance, mostly the air around us, in a wave, which means it can be blocked by objects in the way or reflected by certain types of surfaces, like this tunnel. Echo. Electrical energy is delivered by tiny charged particles called electrons. Most electric energy that we use involves those electrons moving through a conductor, like a wire. We can see electrical energy at work all around us, but my favorite example is found in nature. It's super bright and followed by a loud boom of thunder. Lightning is electrical energy too. So the next time you hear a bird sing, thank sound energy, or eat a really good lunch, thank chemical energy, or roll a pumpkin down a really big hill, thank potential and kinetic energy. And if you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next.